What is going on, everybody? This is Fritz, and this is another episode of Road to Be Boss Editor. Um, this is a pretty, pretty uh, simple effect. Uh, there's not really much involved here. Um, I know you guys have been asking for more advanced stuff, but I need some ideas before I can just make them. So um, this is a cool one, though. I like it when I'm editing feeds a lot, and it's kind of this big sky flash up here. So I'm going to turn off the CC. So you can see here, we've just got this like wonderful, like sun-looking thing up here. And it's pretty easy. All we're going to do is uh, I'll show you what it is without. So that's without, and that's with it. And it adds a really kind of, it, it adds a nice, like, feel when you're uh, hitting a feed. Add a little bit of, uh, of a bass drop to it in the song, and then have this in the sky. It's really, really nice. So I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick. Um, it's pretty easy. Uh, we don't even need any CC. I'll just show you the basics of it. So here we go. We're going to search up in our effects and presets. CC, light, rays, and there it is. Just drag it onto your clip. You can see here we have this little uh, thing, and if we like, you know, you can put it over your numbers and stuff, and do cool stuff with that. Uh, you can put it in your scope. You can put it on this green thing here. Put it in the corner, whatever. But I'm gonna put it in the sky because that's what I like. I'm gonna like it right kind of in the main part. So right about there is good for me. Um, over here, you can see with the warp softness, you can mess with it a little bit. Um, I don't know. I like having it at the default. It works well for me. So we're just going to keyframe it now. Uh, you can see right here we've got this like little uh, go up here. We've got that little like area. So we're going to keyframe so we don't see that. We only see it when we need to, which will be when he scopes out and we see the sky. So we're going to find it. So right here is the shot. So there we go. There's the sky and there's the scope. So what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the intensity and change it to zero. So that way we don't have it while he's still in scope. And then when he goes out, we're going to change it to 375. So that was the number that I found worked. You can mess with it a little bit. Um, radius, you can mess with a little bit. Uh, it kind of adds like some like bars to it. But uh, I liked what it was at, and that's 40. Even maybe a little lower if you want. But 40 worked for me. And warp softness, that just kind of doesn't really do much. I left it at 50. There we go. All right, so leave everything else the same. We're just going to go over a little bit now until he turns. So here you can see he turns in, and you, it's pretty obvious we have a little, like, we have an effect up there. So what we're going to do here is change it down to zero. So that way if we hit U on our keyboard, you can see here the keyframes. I'll zoom in on it a little bit so you can see it. And there we go. So when he makes the shot, it's bright for a second, and then it dies down. And with the CC and even some Twixter, you could really, really make a sick effect with that. So um, that's it. I know it was a really quick tutorial today. Um, I have some ideas for some cool stuff coming up, so uh, stay tuned and like the video, subscribe if you're new. Also, a uh, big, big edit from me that I've been working on now, and uh, you'll be pumped for that one. See ya!